I recommend to watch this video till the end because you will decide for yourself. Do you really need to buy a Chromebook? Hello everybody, you are on Andrei Mihailovi channel. Today I'm going to tell you about advantages and disadvantages of a Chromebook. First, let's start from disadvantages. Why people don't like Chromebooks? Officially, all Chromebooks work only on Chrome OS, so you don't have opportunity to download and install other operating system. Officially. Yes, I know on the internet there is a lot of video where people showing how to install Windows 11 on a Chromebook, etc. I think this is not the best idea, because all Chromebooks well optimized for Chrome OS. When you start using Chrome OS, you realize that you cannot find a lot of necessary important apps and program that was available on Windows. And this is one of common reason why people don't like Chromebooks. I also supposed to use a lot of program that only available in Windows. Program for video editing, program to check specification of the hardware, etc. And all of these necessary important programs I can't find in Chrome OS. Chromebooks have cheap materials, hinges, case, speakers, and that's also one of the reasons why people don't want to buy a Chromebook. Also, most Chromebooks have a very low specification. If we're talking about processor, they have Intel Pentium and Intel Celeron. This is the most popular processor in a Chromebook. They have 4 GB of RAM and the older version of Chromebooks have only 2 GB of RAM. RAM and storage is saturated to the motherboard of a Chromebook. That means that you cannot upgrade your device. This is very awful because if you buy a Chromebook with low specification, in the future it also will have low specs. It sounds crazy, but older version of Chromebooks doesn't have Google Play Store. Even if you will try to go to the system settings and enable Google Play Store, you will not have option for this. Chromebooks has bad compatibility with microphone. For the example, you can see my microphone. This is Razer Serial Mini and right now I connect it to my laptop. So the sound quality is not bad. Technically, you can connect your microphone to a Chromebook. But if you want to know how it will sound if you connect it to your Chromebook, just watch this video. So right now I speak in the microphone and I already connect it to my Chromebook. But even though the sound is set to 100% in the program, I can be heard very quietly. So actually if you heard something, it will be very good. For people who don't know, this is USB microphone and it has nice compatibility with Windows. But if you connect it to your Chromebook, you already know what result you can get. And now let's talk about benefits of a Chromebook. Because this device is really useful. The advantages of a Chromebook is their price. You can find and buy a new Chromebook for less than $100. The link to buy a cheap Chromebook will be in the video description. Previously I said the Chromebooks has cheap materials, and that's true, but if we're talking about screen, then Chromebook have a really nice matte screen, and it's much better than budget glass screen, in my opinion. Chromebooks have a long battery life. On average, a Chromebook keep the battery life for 10 hours. And this is a really nice result. And to be honest, many laptops can't handle with Chromebook in this aspect. Chromebooks have excellent system optimization. Previously, I said that Chromebooks have low specification Intel Pentium or Intel Celeron processor. It well optimized. It work really fast, so you can just enjoy and use Chromebook. It's not take a long time to boot to the system menu. So in this aspect, Chromebook really do a great job. One of the biggest benefits of a Chromebook 
is Google Play Store. And this is one of the most common reason why people buy Chromebooks. On my channel, I make a lot of video about a different operating system with Google Play Store. And people are so excited about the fact that they can install an operating system with Google Play Store. Most Chromebooks that was released after 2014 already have Google Play Store. You can install a lot of popular games on your Chromebook, such as Asphalt 9, Odmar, and Subway Surfs. You can activate Linux in Chrome OS settings. I mean activate, because previously I said that you cannot install other operating system on Chrome OS. And this is true, but in Chrome OS settings, you have option to manually activate Linux, if you wish. This function is very convenient and can be useful for programmers. What do I like about Chromebooks? That they have passive cooling system. That's mean that they work very quietly. Passive cooling system means that Chromebook doesn't have fans. Chromebooks compatible with keyboard, mouse and gamepad. So you just can connect your gamepad to your Chromebook and run games from the Google Play Store without any problem. In my hand you can see gamepad GameSeer T4 Pro and I have no problem with connecting it to my Chromebook. You do not need to install some special drivers. For the example, if you connect this gamepad to a laptop that runs on Windows 7 or Windows 8, you need to download and install special drivers. But if you connect it to your Chromebook, you can just enjoy gameplay. One of the benefits of a Chromebook that they are ultra slim and extremely lightweight. If you have a Chromebook, you do not need to install antivirus. It is already safe. Chromebook can protect you from any virus. At this point, Chrome OS is one of the best OS. So friends, I hope you really enjoy to watch this video. I already told you about biggest advantages and disadvantages of a Chromebook. And if you want to buy it, it all depends on you. Only you. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. Also, on my channel you can watch a lot of interesting videos and I will be glad if you watch all of them. Goodbye everyone, see you soon. Useful for programmers.